me who's watching who's watching me hello my name is Randy England I spent most of my career in high-tech new product development and program management and I was part of a project management initiative at corporate whose purpose was to lead the continuous improvement of project management across the company. Now I work with people around the world and managers to try to achieve more from project-based work. I'm really looking forward to this Project Portfolio Days where we have a superb faculty and lineup of people who are going to talk about their experiences with portfolio management, especially managing portfolios in these turbulent times that we're all facing. It is through project, program, and portfolio management that are we going to come through these turbulent times and be able to prosper, not only to survive, but to get the best outcomes that we can from all of our projects within a portfolio. This faculty will be fantastic. You will get great ideas. You will enjoy yourself. And please join us. I look forward to seeing you in Madrid. Thank Tell me who's watching. Me. Jim DePiante. I want to talk about how a portfolio, how a project really does need to be understood as an investment and how a portfolio of projects isn't metaphorically a portfolio of investments. It really and truly is with all the characteristics of an investment, which is to say a return, risk, cost, a good, an asset, and so the management of projects needs to be oriented toward optimizing price, the asset delivered, and the return on the investment, and optimizing the portfolio is about optimizing and choosing between those in the same way that a good securities portfolio manager would manage portfolio of simply papers tell me who's watching who's watching me hello i'm michel theory uh, from Velance limited i'm a managing partner uh, we're based in london and i roam the world uh, gathering ideas to be able to talk to you and uh, what i'm going to talk to you about this time is uh, portfolio management and how portfolio management fits into the uh, governance system of organization especially project-based organization uh, I'm going to focus on three things, that governance is not just about control, governance is about having a leadership, having vision, then putting in place the structures to follow up that leadership, putting in place the resources and how portfolio management can help you capture the vision and put in place the structures necessary and select the right projects, the right programs to in fact succeed in your governance. And finally, how in the end you need to conform to the vision and put in place the necessary uh, controls uh, to, uh, and to actually measure success. And we're going to look at the context of portfolio management into the project-based organization governance. Tell me who's of how we are going to get there and challenge our things. Once we do me? that, we'll get better ideas. Okay? So let me give you a few ideas as we wrap up in terms of how the next generation would look like. Sounds good? At least some things to start thinking about. Tell me who's watching. Who's watching me? Tell me who's watching, who's watching me. My three P's, passion, persistence and patience, they will be covered later works. You know, three virtues, you need to be enthusiastic, okay? Well, okay, I can remember one project I managed in the south of Spain, in Havana. And every morning on Monday, we were traveling from Madrid, you know, to Granada, nice city, beautiful city, not for working, <laughs> just for traveling, tourists. 
And I can remember when my team arrived there, say, okay, Alfonso, today is Monday, have some pain in my back, it is raining, it is windy, stop, 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 stop. Stop. Now, it's 9 a.m. in the morning. At 9.30, we will be having a cup of coffee with toast, you know? It's raining right now. And then, as soon as, soon as you back you know, from your breakfast, we'll be very, very close for lunch. After lunch, it's almost Tuesday. <laughs> this is the type of thing, you know, you can do. You have the option of doing it, or you have the option of don't do it, you know, because obviously I, have, I don't have the same energy at the age of 53 that I am than at the age of 30, obviously. But you know, I really believe, I don't know if you agree or not, that the passion, the enthusiasm is in your brain much more and in your physics, you know, in your body, you know. Obviously, you need to have a balance, of course. Tell me who's watching, who's watching me.